स्टूडेंट्स कुछ लाइन कोडिंग की टेक्निक्स की हम लोग बात कर रहे हैं और हम लोगों ने कुछ क्लासिफिकेशन कुछ कैटेगरीज ऑफ दीज लाइन कोडिंग स्कीम्स दैट वी डिवाइड देम इनटू वी डिस्कस दोस एंड वी स्टार्ट द डिस्कशन ऑफ ईच वन ऑफ दोज स्कीम्स लेट्स गो बैक टू द स्लाइड एंड कैरी ऑन विद दैट डिस्कशन स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन फाइव डिस्टिंट कैटेगरीज वी डिस्कस्ड यूनिपोलर एनआरजे वी ऑल्सो स्पोक अबाउट द पोलर एनआरजे एंड वी सो दैट देर आर टू डिफरेंट वेरियंट एनआरजे एल एंड एनआरजे आय हम लोगों ने एनआरजे एल और आय दोनों को डिस्कस किया था और ये देखा था कि इन द फर्स्ट केस एनआरजे एल द डिफरेंस इन लेवल इट दैट रिप्रेजेंट आ जीरो और वन बेट इन एनआरजे आय द इन्वर्जन और द नॉन इन्वर्जन रिप्रेजेंट वट द नेक्स्ट बेट इज गोइंग टू बी अब स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस द नॉर्मल प्रॉब्लम दैट वी फेस इज दैट इफ देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम विद द सिंक्रोनाइजेशन बिटवीन द सेंडर एंड द रिसीवर and the clocks are not synchronized in this nrz l or i case then we will have problem discerning or interpreting zeros and ones at the receiving end also if we receive a long sequence of zeros or ones for example in nrz l nrz level the average signal power it can become skewed and therefore once again the receiver will have difficulty interpreting the bit value students another disadvantage is that the value of the power density is very high around the frequencies that are close to zero and when that happens we say that the signal contains a dc component which is bad for receiver once again to retrieve the signal students once again the main problem with nrz encoding was the sender and the receiving clocks when they are not synchronized the receiver does not know where the one bit has ended and where the next bit is starting so a solution is the return to zero scheme so it's in the return to zero scheme it uses three values instead of two values it uses three voltage levels instead of two voltage levels so you can see that we have got a negative we have got a zero and then we have got a positive so for every single bit we are using three voltage levels in this particular case instead of um two voltage levels as was the case with nrz l ab is case mein students we have got a zero which is represented by a voltage level starting from the negative end as you can see it changes its value in the middle of the bit the transition happens to zero and then it goes it finishes right here now the next bit is one student so this signal will go up and it will start from the positive level so you'll see that the start of the bit 1 is at the positive level transition happens in the middle of the bit and it finishes right here next bit is zero again zero mein we are going to start at the negative voltage level so we'll come down and we will change states in the middle we'll finish right here the next bit is again zero so we come down to the negative voltage level we start from here make a transition and finish here the next bit is one we go up start from the positive level make a transition in the middle and we finish here so students we are essentially using three different voltage levels as compared to the nrz techniques students uh the main disadvantage that we have of this encoding is that it requires two signal change changes to encode one bit so we are changing uh, we are having two changes in the signal um, to represent one bit and this essentially means that we are occupying greater bandwidth as compared to the non return to zero techniques now students there is another issue with this return to zero scheme and that is the rz scheme it uses because it uses three level of voltages it is more complex to create and interpret at the receiving end so students because of these two problems this is mostly replaced by manchester and differential manchester that we'll discuss next